Hey, hi viewers, you're welcome to Living Word Blocks. This is where we talk about the Word of God expressly to the people in our generation. Today we are bringing what Apostle Joshua Selman talked about. Apostle Joshua Selman is the lead pastor of Eternity Network International, popularly known as Koinonia. He talked about how to have the right mindset. A lot of people do not have the right mindset, even though they think they are having the right mindset. But the result that is springing out of the mindset they have is not really showing that it is a good mindset. So one of the very important things he talked about in this message is partnering with the Holy Spirit to having the right mindset. Because it is the Holy Spirit that can first of all help a man to know that he does not even have the right mindset in the first place before he starts building on having the right mindset. The message, this message is actually a very deep one and it can help shaping one's life if listened to correctly and put into use everything said in this message. If this is your first time on this channel, visiting this channel, I will kindly enjoy you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video and share. Thank you for viewing and God bless you. In the world until you understand how it makes people powerful. The word of God does not make people powerful just by default. No. No. Hallelujah. Come, promise. Let me show you three things that the word of God does. It's an admonition tonight. Please pay attention. Let's call this guy a drunkard, a smoker, poor, broke, on his way to hell. It's, it's just an example. Irresponsible. Call him anything. Womanizer, whatever. Just name it. Watch this. This brother is the way he is. Listen to me. Because there is an ideology. Are you getting what I'm saying? There is a mindset that was enshrined in him. Either as a result of his past, as a result of his background, as a result of the influences around his life. So he grew up with certain convictions. And based on what he knew to be greatness, he grew up seeing other people smoking and drinking and sleeping around. And they felt like big boys. And he was attracted to their proposal of what they call greatness. And he permitted it to become part of his mindset. Are you getting what I'm saying now? He never, as he is right now from the example I'm giving you, he doesn't know, this gentleman, he doesn't know that there are laws in this kingdom. He does not know that life can be predictable. He does not know that it is up to him and the Holy Ghost to birth the quality of his life. He's waiting for mother nature. He's waiting for situations. Wondering why nothing seems to work hi and then listen 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 jesus christ the word of god comes watch this when the word of god comes the first thing the word of god does is to reveal to him the inferiority of his current position because you will never change until you are dissatisfied with where you are why should i change if i'm okay with where i am are you getting what I'm saying? So the Holy Ghost opens you up to a new horizon through the word. And you see that life can be lived at another level. That there can be a level of excellence which you have seen. And so this brother sits under an anointing like this. And listens to the word of God. And the word of God begins to challenge him. At first he will resist the word. Because the word of God will make him take responsibility for his current position. And we hate taking responsibility. That's why we love passing blames to demons. Is that true? We love passing blames to spirit entities and say they are the reasons. 
and now this brother is finding out that there can be a quality of life and by the way when he is alone after drinking and smoking and living life at a lower level the truth is that in his secret place there is a cry are you getting my point he wants a life higher and greater i've spoken to all kinds of people cultists smokers and the rest there is none of them that likes their current state it's just that they have become slaves to strongholds and ideologies and the word of god comes the word of god comes and after the first message this gentleman goes back with two ideologies the one he already has that says you can go back join those friends live your life say it does not matter allow anything and hope that one day things will get better or take responsibility and realize that the word of god can frame a new life and when he returns and sits sufficiently under the word of god something begins to change hallelujah he permits this mind to be in him that was in christ jesus all of a sudden the grace to adopt the new mindset that is consistent with the laws of the kingdom this gentleman now knows that it's not like god chose to make others rich and leave others poor that's what mommy told him that's what daddy told him very innocent but it's not true now he knows that wow i can partner with the and there is an economic system to this kingdom hallelujah then he now knows that being a father is not all about getting a woman pregnant and having children you must be ready to take responsibility because you are building another future and he's receiving this and he's changing and while it is changing his friends begin to notice that he's dissatisfied with the mindset he used to advocate are you getting my point as a result they will become envoys of the lower mindset and they will try to lure him back to where he's trying to live using scornings criticisms and all of that they say we give you two weeks all this church thing you are doing you will come back and then they find out that he never returns brothers and sisters in three or four years this same guy will come back this is him transformed now he's understood that christianity is not all about going to church and just singing hymns and worship and choruses that it is a school it's a programming it proposes a new mindset the same mindset that makes heaven the way it is and when he receives it he will now return and meet those guys still there by that time the other brother is already 33 or 35 are you getting my point his eyes already stained with drinking for years his mouth everything his life his liver is almost dying and this brother comes changed everything around him is changed you can choose to remain where you are you can choose to keep coming for koinonia and enjoy the euphoria of participating in an apostolic activity that god is doing in a territory you can choose or you can make up your mind and say lord every time i come to your presence i realize that there are two mindsets that war in me and when i come i am ready to let my old ideologies die it was because i believed them look at the way they made my life i believed that sickness was the will of god a mindset i believed that my genotype would never change i believe that i can just die any day anyhow it's like that it happens if it comes give glory to god but when the word of god comes it begins to propose to you a new ideology it tells you life can be lived at another level hello everyone you're welcome back I'm sure this message has blessed you in a lot of ways and if you're deeply blessed by this message I would like you 
to like this video and to share it and leave your thoughts in the comment section below and remember having the right mindset is what you do with the help of the holy spirit because in ourselves everything that we think is always right in our sight but we need the holy spirit because the scripture says that the holy spirit will teach us all things and guide us into all truths so definitely as the scripture says the holy spirit will teach us all things and guide us into all truths it will also guide us into having the right mindset into doing anything at all thank you once again for listening to this message god bless you and bye for now.